Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 126. Hey, this is 126 part 3. If you want to make sense of this, go watch YouTubers Love Excel number 126 and 126 part 2. This is part 3 here before you watch this one. Hey, they, after I posted that first vid video, the YouTuber said, Hey, how did you make those colors turn off and on like that? So if I go to green, they all turn to green. If I turn to black, they all turn to black. Well, let's see how to do that down here. We did it. I just had it turned on there. Go ahead and highlight the whole range. We actually have to add, we want four colors. And the default color will be white, so we'll leave that one for the white belt. But we need to do three other colors, so we're going to do conditional formatting with three formulas. And this will work in both 2003 and 2007. 2003 has a limit of three uh, conditional formatting. All right, with the whole range highlighted, you've got to be aware of where your um, active cell is. And then conditional formatting in 2007 is home, styles, conditional formatting. In 2003, you go to format menu and then conditional formatting. The keyboard shortcut that works in all of them is Alt-OD. You know, like when you have too much Excel, you OD. OD, Alt OD. Now I'm going to say new rule. In 2003, you have to click in the first text box and point to formula is. Formula is. Here, we it, both ways, 2003 and 7, you get to this little text box and we'll build a formula. I'm going to click, I got to get, I'm going to scroll up because I have to get this. See, this formula right here, we want to, we're going to have three formulas. One that says that cell equals black, another formula that says that cell equals yellow, another formula that says that cell equals green. So equals and in quotes, black. And then the format button right here. Uh, Phil in 2007 and 2003, this says patterns. I'm going to click black, but then I'm going to go to borders. So, and by the way, this is on the other side in 2003, but for color, line, color, which is the color of the line, I'm going to say white, and then I'm going to go outline, and then finally i got to go to font, and I'm going to pick white font. By the way, that tab is not in 2003. Click OK. So that's the formatting that will be applied when this true-false formula comes out to be true. Click OK, and then we have to click Add, New Rule. Same formula, that cell right there, except for this is going to equal yellow. And then I'm going to click on the Format button here and type Fill or Pattern, yellow. Click OK. Click OK. There's two of them. We need one more. <coughs> New rule, formula. And we're going to say that cell right there equals green. And spelling does matter here. You know, bad spellers like me get into trouble when we start typing things like that. Uh, and it's not green. I'm going to click um, Format and I'm going to add a fill that's green or a pattern. Click OK. And the reason why that's important is because it's all linked to this cell, which is linked to data validation, which is linked to the list of uh, belts over here, which is then relating to the names of the table. So there's a lot of places to, to potentially misspell the word green. Click OK. Now there's three of them, but it doesn't matter. The only other option in our data validation is white. So when it is, says white there, it won't apply anything, which is perfect. Click OK. And so now when we click uh, yellow or black, you can see these turn to black. These zeros don't appear um, in, with conditional format as we saw in uh, 126. In 126.2, we saw how to turn the zeros off with a formula. And then in this part uh, 3 to 126, we saw how to do the conditional formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.